Hello and welcome to another session of Maven Zero to Hero. Today we are going to learn about different parts of POM.xml and run a couple of demos to understand how Maven cleans, compiles and builds your project. Let's start this project with a small Maven build demo. So go ahead and download the project chapter 3-1 after you download the project, open the terminal or command prompt if you are using Windows. Next, change the directory to chapter 3.1 using your cd command. And then run maven clean maven space clean space install. It's going to take a couple of seconds to run this command depending on your internet connection speed. So I'm assuming that by this time your Maven clean install would have completed and if you would look at the end you would see build success message and a total time it took to build the project. So what did we just do? As soon as you run Maven clean install there are a couple of steps that Maven does. First thing that you need to know before you do anything else is that Maven when it builds a project as a jar or a war file it dumps that jar or a war file in a folder called target which should be under your main project so if you would go ahead and look in your project folder that is chapter 3-1 you would see a folder called target so at this point when you run Maven clean install the first step it does it it tries to clean the project under target folder it will delete the target folder and everything under that folder once it has deleted that it runs the install command what install does is it basically pulls all the uh, java resources that it needs to compile and as you've guessed the next step would be maven compiler that is it creates the java class files and then creates the jar file out of those compiled project the last three steps that you would see is it uses maven resources plugin one more time to copy all the resources for the test folder that is a java unit test and then again it goes and runs the compiler plugin creates the class files and um, then it runs a maven surefire plugin this plugin what it basically does is it runs your tests and create reports and tells you how many tests were passed how many failed were there any error or did it skip some of them it will also tell you how much time it took to run every uh, actually not every the total of all the unit test cases 